I am so excited. I'm gonna be gone all next week at a workshop at the Atelier Augustine. I'm gonna be learning the hottest trends from the coolest stylists. Everything is gonna be new. New. I mean, it's even in New York. Famous stylist Veronique from the Atelier will be there. She did the runway show for Jean-Pierre Dumont. The hair was so pretty. It was so feminine. I love taking runway styles and just making them a little more realistic for my guests. I mean, they're not strutting around in six inch heels, but doesn't mean they don't want to look très chic. After all, you never know who could be watching. You are going to have so much fun in New York. You know I can fit in your luggage. Yeah, just um, curl up into a tiny little ball and I'll squeeze you on the plane. Yes. And the workshop at Atelier Augustine, they are so awesome. I mean, they practically invented the supermodel. I just had a cancellation. Did somebody say a supermodel's coming in? Yeah. Well, she sounds like a supermodel. Gabrielle Pemberley. She's never been here before. I have always loved the name Gabrielle. Wow. So Francais. Mm. So what is Gabrielle having done? Well, looks like she's down for a perm with Sylvie. It's probably one of those wild and trendy ones. Uh, that's the only way to do a perm nowadays. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet she's like six feet tall or something. Yeah. Uh, okay, moment of truth time. How do I look? Great or great? This is a real question? <laughs> no. <laughs> Rude. I shouldn't have asked. Alice? Oh, I'm not really into supermodels. Hi, you must be Gabrielle. Gabrielle Pemberley. Yes, I know I don't look like a Gabrielle. I get it a hundred times a day. Just call me Gabby. Nice to meet you, Gabby. I'm Sylvie Mendez. Oh, hey, you're hey. the owner, right? I sure am. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> well, good, great. That's what the guys at the hardware store requested. They got me a gift card. They want me to pamper myself. Well, that is considerate. Well, I have been there 20 years. Wow. Yeah. Very impressive. Congratulations. Thanks. Wow. This place is solid. Yeah. Gosh. Polished cement floors, mm -hmm. nice. Who's your GC? Uh, GC? Your general contractor. I bet I know them if they're any good. You know what, I, I can't remember, but actually I picked out the wall paint and the oh. sofa. Nice. Can I get you some coffee or water? Oh, water's good. Water? Okay. Speaking of water, who does your plumbing? Oh, um, Rick's plumbing? Oh, he's a great guy. He comes into the store all the time. I'm down at Laporte's Hardware, just a couple blocks down. Oh, he's... you know what? I've seen it, but I haven't been in yet. Quit going to those big box hardware stores. They don't know what they're talking about. Okay. Hey. Hello. I'm Brad. Oh, hey. You must... Gabby. Gabby. You know what, my station's right over here. If you oh. want to join me, great. This neighborhood has really changed. Used to be the hardware store, the plumbing and lighting shops, scrap metal, and kids throwing parties at empty warehouses. Now we have reservation-only restaurants and boutiques that charge $200 for a t-shirt. Our hardware store sells t-shirts for five bucks. Made in Wisconsin, not Paris, France. Oh yeah, here. Um, I don't really care about it, usually. Um, mostly I just cut it myself, wash, towel dry, and go. I do the perm thing about once every three years or so. But not in a place this nice. All right, can I get you to take off your jewelry? Okay, no jewelry. No, I don't mess with jewelry, it just gets in the way. So. You are interested in some curls. Yeah, um, I haven't done it for a few years, but um, 
I think I'm ready for it. A perm. Okay. So what are you looking for in, in a perm? I just want to look good. Have you thought about maybe not doing a perm? We could do a color and a color. Nope, I always do a perm when I want my hair to look like I fussed with it without fussing. Okay. Yeah, I just haven't done it in a while, and that's why it's grown out. Well, tell me about your last perm. Did you have, like, big, loose body waves to give you the look of more natural curls? No, it kind of had tight curls, um, so it would last longer. You know, wash and go, real easy. Okay. They always use the white curlers, but I think that I would be willing to try something else. Really? Because we could do a layered cut, add in some texture, and then hit the ends with a curling iron. Is that still a perm? No, not exactly, but I, I really want a perm. And um, it just has to be a perm so it lasts. Okay, um, white rods. Well, did you like the curls right away or after a little bit? Well, I like the easiness of it right away, but I like the curls after they settled down a few weeks. Okay, well, um, I could use this for a larger curl and then just adjust the solution. And what'll that do? That'll make you like it right away. And you won't have to wait weeks for that softer curl. Well, they always told me I had to go really curly at first, otherwise the curls wouldn't last that long. That can definitely be true if I use a larger rod, but don't adjust the solution. But we will adjust so you'll like it and the curls will last. Oh, why didn't they ever tell me that? <laughs> Let's do it. Yes, I like to like things right away. Let's go with the looser curls. Do you want to start with a haircut? No, I just had one. I mean, I always cut my bangs myself, but I had to go somewhere to get the back cut. Okay, uh, how do you normally style your hair? Do you comb it to the back or the side? Well, I just comb it and let it fall where it will. But um, I don't like it in my face all the time. Do you use any styling products? Well, I don't like frizz, so sometimes I'll put some gel in. We carry a gel that'll really define those curls, and I have a leave-in conditioner that will eliminate the frizz, giving you those, like, big, shiny, bouncy curls. Great. Okay, so back to the perm. We are wanting a larger curl pattern with an overall even curl. It'll fall to the forehead, down the sides, and the back, and it'll give you a little more of that shampoo and go routine you're looking for. Did I miss anything? Nope, you got it all. Okay, perfect. Okay. May I touch your hair? Yeah. All right. Well, your scalp looks healthy. Have you ever had any reactions to the perm solution? Um, just a little burning. Okay, and did they um, stop the service and rinse out your hair? Oh, no. No, it was just the normal burning on my forehead. Oh, well, I will be sure to apply a barrier cream and cotton so the solution doesn't touch your skin. Okay. Well, overall, your hair looks very healthy. You've got low porosity, fine texture, and um, medium density. And I don't see any colics either, so. Oh, you don't have to give me all that hair science. I trust you. <laughs> okay, well, I can't help but take note of your hair traits. I'll just keep them in my brain. It looks like the perm is pretty much grown out, so we can start fresh. Mm -hmm. Fresh. You ready for the shampoo? I'm ready. All right, let's go. There go. Superpower. Healthy hair is strong, superpower strong, because the cortex is packed with keratin, a protein with the power to snap back after bending or stretching without breaking. That's what we mean by elasticity, and elasticity is responsible for hair's tensile strength, or how strong it is when being stretched. So how strong is hair? You can hang 30 pennies from a single strand, 
Most of us have more than 100,000 hairs on our heads. And when those 100,000 come together, their power is beyond imagining. That ponytail can airlift two African elephants to safety. Hair with normal elasticity stretches by about a quarter and returns without breaking when dry. Wet, it can stretch by almost half its original length and still snap back. Hair with poor elasticity breaks right away or keeps stretching and stays stretched when wet or dry. Lots of things can sap hair's elasticity. Age, diet, exposure to sun and heat, but its arch enemy is overprocessing. Hair like this needs a serious salon treatment before considering any chemical service, if one's possible at all. Especially when it comes to perms, they disrupt the hair strand's molecular structure and can destroy it if the hair's not healthy to begin with. You probably won't have a herd of elephants ranging around the salon, but there is one way to test the elasticity of your guest's hair if you question whether it can take a chemical service. Mist one strand and hold the hair at either end, gently stretching for five to 10 seconds. If the hair snaps back to its original length, you're good to go. If it breaks or stays stretched, you'll want to suggest deep hydrating products and or protein building treatments to repair the hair as much as possible first. Elasticity can vary around the head, so test in a few places. On the side of the head, above the ears, at the apex, the front hairline. When dealing with normal elasticity during a perm, pick the rod size to achieve the desired curl. If the hair easily stretches, you'll want to go one size smaller because the curl won't hold as well. Healthy hair's got superpower strength because it's got good elasticity. When that's the case, our strands can bounce back from just about anything we throw at them in the name of beauty. Let me just lean you up. There we go. And if you don't mind, I'm just gonna quickly sanitize my bowl before we head back to the station. All right, so you can just join me over here at my station. Okay. I like your shampoo. You're smart to have your own brand. Thank you. You know, I think this thing would keep me dry when I was camping. Ooh, camping. That's kind of my own personal nightmare, to be honest. <laughs> You'd be fine. Nightmare on Perm Street. Beauty's a cool, cruel charmer. She'll shatter your dreams and break your hair. The story you're about to hear is real. A nightmare service from an actual salon. She ignored the warnings, stepped through the doorway, insisting on perming her already overprocessed hair. It came, a sound unlike any other. Rod striking the shampoo bowl, clattering to rest in a heap. Yep, her hair broke off at the scalp during rinsing. Now you know what can happen if you perm overprocessed hair. So it's time to consider the tools and how to apply them to get curl, not catastrophe. Because even healthy hair can break off or get damaged if not properly wrapped on the right rod. First, wrapping. Use moderate, even tension and follow the hair's growth pattern to prevent breakage. Don't rock the rod as you wrap and hold the end the band attaches to when placing the cap. This stabilizes the rod at the scalp, prevents one end from lifting. Uneven placement and tension creates lopsided curls and worse, can break hair. Ensure the band isn't twisted and stretches across the rod on top, not down at the scalp. 
If you use picks, make sure they rest on the rods, not the hair. For maximum control when rolling, use end papers. Three methods are standard, double flat, single flat, and bookend. In each case, pull papers past the ends to ensure they're fully covered. This prevents the ends from doubling back, causing fish hooks or other potentially damaging and unsightly crimps. Double flat has one paper on top and another on the underside of each subsection. Single flat, one paper goes on top. Bookend, you fold one paper so it covers both the top and bottom. Caution's needed here to prevent squeezing the ends together because they need to lay flat on each rod. Perm rods are color-coded in universal sizes across manufacturers in two forms, concave and straight. Concave rods slightly flare toward the ends, making the curl tighter in the center for a more natural look. Straight rods are the same diameter along their length. Which size rod you use depends on the length of your guest's hair and the curl she wants. Both could influence your wrapping technique, which we'll get to later. Red creates very tight curls on hair, usually no more than two inches in length. Blue produces larger curls and super short hair and a tight curly look in hair two to three and a half inches long. Pink, tight to medium curls in hair three to four inches long and looser curls or waves in shorter hair. Gray, tight curls on hair between three and five inches and loose curls in shorter lengths. White, ideal for curling hair four and a half to six and a half inches long. Shorter hair appears loosely curled or just wavy. Purple, creates such large curls that they're normally used for body waves, unless a guest has really long hair. Following these simple rod and roll rules, you'll avoid perm nightmares. Give your guests the look of their dreams. All right, fix it lady, let's put the fix on this hair. Comb out's easy, her hair feels nice and conditioned. For her, purple rods. Medium large curl, nothing too fussy or foo-foo. Use the rod to size up the width of my top section. There's one side. And there's the other. Sectioning just slightly less than the rod's full length. I'll twist the hair to isolate each section. Yep, 10 years of sectioning experience, so I'm gonna skip the clips. Using the rod to size up the width for each section. There's two and three. Another one on the front side, two more in back. Now use the rod's diameter to size my base sections just a little over half an inch. First rod, double flat papers, one underneath, another on top, keeps the ends controlled. Hairs elevated. And wrap. Moderate tension on the hair. She's got a relatively short fringe area, so this first rod's off base. Keeps the curl from jumping off the scalp. Next subsection, about half an inch. Same diameter as the rod. Keeping consistent base sections, if they're all the same size, it's more likely the waving lotion and neutralizer penetrates evenly. Going half off base for the rest of the rods, Pretty much the perm standard. Relieve some of the stress and tension on the hair. When I get down to the base, I keep the rod secured with one hand while the other snaps the cap. Want to keep her hair evenly damp. Helps the ends stick to the paper better and it's easier to comb. Changing the wrapping direction here, wrapping down instead of forward like I did on top.
It's following the natural growth patterns of the hair. From the crown, it grows down. Want to elevate the hair straight out from the head for that half off base placement. Even tension during the wrap, but I don't want tension at the scalp when I snap the cap. Placing the elastic band so it's toward the top of the rod and isn't twisted. Don't want the band stressing the hair. Last rod for the center back. Make sure those ends aren't clumped together or converged. Back right, double check my section width. Good to go. Her hair's a nice length for this perm. If it was any longer, I probably wouldn't do a basic perm on her. I'd have to do a specialty. Ooh. Not that it matters, but that is sloppy and paper, Sylvie. The more important thing is keeping consistent subsections. Bands properly placed, rods evenly stacked. End papers help prevent crimping or fish hooks on the ends. I need them, but they don't always wrap in a perfectly smooth way. Working my way down, getting tight on space. Need to use these shorter width rods. And that is a wrap on this section. Halfway point with the rods. Want to keep an eye on how many rods I'm using. If they look too crowded on the head, subsections are probably too thin. If there's too much space between rods, Subsections are too thick. Rods can buckle. Half off base. Hair is directed out from the scalp. Maintain the angle and tension. Stabilize the rod with one hand, the other secures the cap. Okay, part five of this rod wrapping marathon. After this, only one more section. I'll want to double check all these band placements. If they're not placed right, it can cause breakage or I might get band marks. And something tells me that a lady who likes to fix things wouldn't want breakage. Last section. Perm picks, two for two. One pick on each end of the rod and two rods covered with each pair. They keep the bands lifted so they won't create band marks. Great for stabilizing the rods too. Okay, so now that your hair is wrapped, I'm just gonna run to the back room and grab a few more things. Okay. Oh, what do you got going on there? I am giving my guest Gabby a perm. Oh, you know I'm kind of a geek for perms. Yeah, I never really understood that. What's her hair like? 
It's fine, but the cuticle is really tight and compact. Mm, resistant. That'll be a fun challenge. Yeah, I will just adjust my solution. Did you want me to wheel out the hood of dryer for you? No, thank you. I'm actually doing an exothermic. Oh, nice farm curls. Yes, and long lasting. Oh, Sylvie. You love the perm. I love the perm. You love the perm. I'll get her hairline protected with barrier cream. Don't want chemicals getting on her skin. Follow up with cotton strip around the hairline. I should say the first round of cotton strip. Open up the perm solution, get a towel underneath to catch drips, and apply. Three swipes across each rod, along the top, the center, and then the bottom. Applying the solution the same order as I wrap the rods. This is an exothermic perm. The chemicals in it create their own heat. It does a nice job of giving waves to fine hair. Oh, it's a drippy process. I like to keep those towels handy. Top, center, and bottom. Best way to make sure solution evenly saturates each and every rod. No shortcuts, no skimping. If she had super dense hair, I might do a second pass with the waving solution, just to make sure it saturates. The perm manufacturer calls for a plastic cap to help with the processing. It seals in the body heat coming off of her scalp. Get her all tucked in and comfortable. Okay, let's peek behind this plastic for a curl check. Go on the back where the hair is resistant. Don't want to unwind the curl completely. Just about one or one and a half rotations of the rod. Looking for an S pattern as it comes off the scalp. Hmm, got some wave, but not real pronounced. Little more time. Back under the cap she goes. All right, now are you comfortable? Uh, yeah. Okay, now any burning sensation at all? No, I'm good. Okay. Warm water, medium water pressure, rinsing section by section. This can be a bit of a water marathon. I want all of the solution out, so this takes at least five minutes. Rinsing until the smell of the chemicals disappears. Blot each rod so it's damp and not dripping. Neutralizer won't work if hair's dripping wet. Staying systematic, blotting in the order I wrap the rods. 
Fresh towel, more comfortable for her. Reapply barrier cream and round two with cotton strips. And round two of solution. This time neutralizer to lock in the curl pattern. Stain systematic, three swipes along the length of each rod and in order of the wrap. Important that neutralizer penetrates each one of the rods. The disulfide bonds have been broken and this step is where they reform. No neutralizer, no curl, and that's no good. All right, we're in for some serious shampoo bowl time. Picks and rods all come out, and then it's rinse, rinse, rinse. Happy with how this curl is looking. Looks consistent. If any one of these looked dropped or droopy, it'd mean I didn't do a good job with the solution and neutralizer. I'll have to sanitize the rods and picks after the service. For now, get them out of the hair and get them out of the way. Are you still comfortable? Oh, I went camping once and slept on a rock cliff. With no pillow. I'm good. Wow. Great. No rinsing shortcuts. Gotta get it all out, at least five minutes. All right, and if you don't mind, I'm just gonna quickly sanitize the bowl before we head back to my station. Very thorough. I usually don't sit around and think, what am I gonna do next with my hair? It's more like, where's my next canoe trip gonna be to? The last perm I had was awesome. It was so low maintenance. I would shower and run out the door onto my next project or adventure. I wouldn't even stop to look in the mirror to style it. And if I caught myself in a mirror somewhere, I'd be like, my hair is looking so good. And I didn't even have to do anything extra to make it that way. Oh, that's an impressive piece of machinery. You even got it on casters there. Casters? Oh, the wheels. It's functional. Oh, yeah, and it matches the salon too. Oh, yeah, I guess it does. Bonus. <laughs> so this should take about 20 minutes. Can I get you anything while you wait? No, I think I'm just gonna read the ingredients on this mousse bottle. I like to know how stuff works. Okay. There we go. All right, I'll check back with you in a bit. Great. All right, it's finished. What do you think? How do you do it? <laughs> I've never seen my hair look like this. And how does it keep its shape? Oh, I use some mousse. It's a little bit lighter than gel. Oh, you know, I'm satisfied with the ingredients in that mousse. I'll pick some up. Great. I will grab that for you when we check out. Okay. Do you also want to get some shampoo? Oh, I have some all-in-one shampoo at home. It also has a conditioner and a body wash. And it gets stains out of carpets. Okay, well, I would recommend our shampoo. It's specifically formulated for permed hair, and it'll moisturize and protect. Oh, then I should probably get some of that as well. Okay. 
last recommendation. Mm -hmm. Don't shampoo or get your hair wet for the next 48 hours, just so we lock those curls in. Okay. Boy, you know your stuff. <laughs> you know, I love these curls, but I know I'm gonna wanna go straight to Gin someday. Are there any cuts that are this easy to style? You'd be pretty surprised. Let me think of a few ideas for you for next time you come in. Okay. All right, let's get you out of this. Mm. There we go. The guys at the shop aren't gonna recognize me. <laughs> All right, and don't forget your wallet. Yeah. I'm not fooling anyone into thinking that I could have every hair fall into place every day. I just don't have time for that. But this right here, this is as good as my hair has looked in years. A curling irons, they're a fire hazard, and I don't have time for them to heat up and cool down. No, this perm does all the curling. I don't have to think about it at all. The thing is, I like curly right now because I've had straight hair for so long, but it's just a matter of time before I want straight hair again. Now, Sylvie says she's got some ideas for me, but they've got to take less than 30 seconds to style. Like 30 seconds max. I'm not joking. All right, here are those products we talked about. Great. And the instructions are right by the ingredients, right? They sure are. And if anyone asks about your curls, feel free to send them two blocks up to Studio Luma. I will. Say, why don't you give me some of your business cards? Like a stack of 20. I got some friends that could use a new look. Okay, and if I have any hardware needing guests, I'll be sure to send them your way. Yes, do. And if they mention your name, I'll give them a free tape measure. Excellent. Would you like to schedule your next appointment? Do that. Um, I'm pretty busy in the next couple of months with my volunteer EMT training. Wow. Mm, maybe I'll give you a call. That works too. Okay. Hey, well, thanks for the curls and uh, welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you for coming in. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm president of the Neighborhood Business Association oh. and I expect to see you at this month's meeting. All right, I will just check my schedule. You be there. City wants to make more money by charging at the parking meters after six. You want that for your customers? Absolutely not. No, you don't. All right, thank you. Bowlers. Gabby will be very happy to know that I've properly disinfected all of my implements and sanitized my capes. I don't do perms very often, so I can't really say that they're my favorite. And. I can't always direct a guest into a more fashion-forward style. I can expose my guests to what's current, and maybe next time, when they come in, they'll want something new. But the last thing I want is to push a guest into a style that doesn't fit them or they don't want. My name is on the electric bill, but it's paid for by satisfied guests.